good evening everyone i hope you can hear me right now and if you can hear me just press like okay guys uh, welcome to git's very first talk show which is unplug talks i am professor rakshit jani with sanskar mehta and over here we are here for discussing the real graphic card okay so sanskar what's going on these days good evening sir and good evening gits i am sanskar mehta i am student of 6 cb how are you sir i'm very fine so what's going on this day sir nothing much just uh, busy with my phd work and uh, uh, job but apart from this all i am playing mobile games uh, just like call of duty so why are you not playing any pc games actually i used to play pc games uh, since 2018 i i just like uh, lose the interest from pc games due to limitation of my graphic card oh so sir what is the main role of graphic card in the gaming actually i used to play gta 5 max pain 3 this kind of games which has a uh, higher amount of graphics but i have i7 processor with 2 gb graphic card and that is not sufficient enough for playing 2020 games so that is the real re- limitation why i been stuck to this area sir i have one query yes. whenever i am trying to play 4k movie yes. i can play but whenever i try to play game i cannot and that's the real question okay Uh, let me explain you how according to him he says that any good movie for an example my favorite movie is batman dark knight if i want to play that movie that movie is playable on my i7 computer but uh, the game with 1k display is not playable and what is the real reason behind it right i hope i am getting the right yes, question sir. okay so the answer relies in your fifth standard actually in fifth standard you have studied one block diagram of a computer okay in this block diagram as you can see there is one input device output device and central processing unit and this unit is divided in arithmetic logic unit control unit and main memory i hope you remember this diagram yes sir okay next thing any pixel any graphics is made up of what pixels, pixels even yeah. any video is made up of pixels because video is made up of sequence of frames and this sequence of frames has a set of pixels For an example if you pick any frame you have 16 million pixels even in your mobile. Okay. So you need to process those pixels. And if you elaborate those pixel then you will come to know each and every pixel is nothing but a matrix. Do you know what is matrix? I hope you have studied in mathematics. Yep. Okay. Okay. So a pixel is a matrix, okay? And the matrix determinant value d value. Yeah. Okay? This determinant value will decide its color. and lambda value will decide its luminance color and luminance combinedly creates a picture okay so you need to process it this pixel to create your graphics okay for creating a graphic uh, for an example you said that a, a movie is playable because the movie has sequence of frames okay scene 1 scene 2 scene 3 scene 4 and likewise entire thing is scripted entire thing is recorded and these things are buffered okay these things are processed from your processor and these things are being buffered in your main memory due to this buffering you can play these movies so buffering is, is the real reason that why you can play these movies but for graphics for an example you are playing assassin's creed yeah. and you are climbing that tower which is the highest point of the entire city and you are jumping from entire city so whenever you are climbing the tower you can see the tower but from the top you can see entire city so for generating this kind of graphics dynamically that means that is completely run time based on the user so whenever user decides or the player actual player decides these things are required okay okay so for playing this kind of games you need to generate graphics dynamically and for generating this kind of graphics dynamically you need to process millions of pixels in a second and for processing this kind of data normal microprocessors are not useful for that point i have one more diagram look into the diagram This is your i7 processor the latest processor and 
this is your graphic processing unit okay over here you can see the i7 is quad core ar architecture quad core means there are mainly four cores and each and every core means over here it is known as arithmetic logic unit and combinedly control unit okay so this is quad core architecture which is not sufficient enough over here as you can see the greens are alu over here you can see entire grid of alu okay this grid of alu is capable enough to process amount of data in fraction of second okay okay so 4 alu versus 400 alu which one is better yeah 400 of course 400 so 400 arithmetic logic unit with 40 control units apart from that there is one more 4 gb graphic memory available on board that means yeah. a combined package is known as graphic processing unit okay as you can see over here this is a physical graphic processing unit where there is one graphic processor under the fan there is graphic processor this is the memory portion and this is interfacing area as you can okay. see this is interfacing the complete package you are aware it is graphic card so this is the real reason that why you require graphic card in your computer okay sir but what is the difference between gpu and uh, graphic card okay gpu means a complete package okay there is one graphic processor unit okay okay a graphic processor unit has memory control unit and set of arithmetic logic units okay so this entire thing is known as gpu but graphic card means there is one board just like motherboard this is one board which has on board memory along with graphic card and interfacing area through which you can interface it through different computers so this is the difference between graphic card and graphic processor okay sir so અત્યારે કોઈ લેપટોપ લેવું હોય જો મારે તો કયા ગ્રાફિક કાર્ડ સાથે જો વધારે સારું રહેશે હા ઇન ટુડે ઝેર આર ધેર આર મલ્ટીપલ કંપનીઝ અવેલેબલ ફોર એન એક્ઝામ્પલ એનવીડિયા એએમડી ઇવન ઇન્ટેલ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો હેવિંગ ઇટ્સ ઇન્ટેલ એક્સી ઓકે બટ આઈ સજેસ્ટ વિચ ઇઝ એનવીડિયા ઇનફેક્ટ ઇન એન્ટાયર વર્લ્ડ એનવીડિયા હેઝ સેવન્ટી પર્સન્ટ ઓફ માર્કેટ શેર નોટ ઓનલી જસ્ટ માર્કેટ શેર ધેર રિસર્ચ એન્ડ ડેવલપમેન્ટ ઇઝ સો મચ હાયર and about the research talking about research it comes in graphs okay so these are the real results uh, as you can see over here these are the results for microprocessor processing but these are the results for efficiency now how you can measure an microprocessor's efficiency it is in flops okay f l o p s floating point operations per second okay normal microprocessor just like i3 i5 and i7 these processors are capable enough for 1000 giga flops 1000 giga flops per second this is nvidia geforce gtx which is 5 times faster 5000 giga flops as you can see okay this is gtx and these days nvidia is running with rtx series that means they are running on tera flops that means 100 times faster than the previous gtx okay nvidia rtx is the fastest graphic card series in entire world and uh, i suggest that you buy a laptop with nvidia rtx graphic card if you have sufficient money it will okay. be costly of course but uh, it is uh, worth for your entire future okay so graphic card is already used in only for gaming yeah any other uses i can see where is this going you are trying to convince your parents, parents. that uh, yes sir uh, if i want to buy a gaming laptop then how i can convince my parents directly puch lena tha anyways uh, i am giving you the answer uh, you are in computer science and engineering yes, sir. right so uh, the computer engineering syllabus has different syllabus uh, like uh, machine learning artificial intelligence these are the bigger names which require high, uh, higher amount of computing okay and whenever and wherever higher amount of computation is required graphic card is always helpful okay so there are multiple things even if you want to create a game then you can go for open gl cuda and uh, even there are multiple gaming platforms available so you can choose any of them and uh, create your own games just like unity is the one of the platform that uh, you can create mobile games and uh, there are different platforms available so you can choose your own platform okay and uh, you can tell your parents that 
dad i want to create a game and that's why i want a laptop just like uh, as, uh, for creating a car at least you know how to drive a car so yeah. for creating a game you should know how to play the game first okay sir but my last question is uh, whenever i am uh, inquiring about laptops i have some news like uh, there are uh, external graphics and internal graphics available with laptops yes so which one better of course the external and uh, internal graphics means uh, the graphic memory is available on board for an example your uh, intel motherboard so graphic memory is directly mounted on your board itself that is nothing but a separate part of memory dedicated to graphics that is not a separate graphic card okay you require a gpu you require set of cores okay you require set of cores to process this kind of things and this set of cores are available with graphic card okay just like i said nvidia rtx is coming with uh, 400 plus cores then that also tensor cores so there are different type of cores available rt cores tensor cores but uh, nvidia graphic cards are coming with tensor cores and uh, on the basis of alan turing uh, they have given nvidia turing card okay just okay. to provide the homage thank you sir for providing such kind of information one more thing regarding jobs that uh, you, uh, if you are targeting job in graphics uh, many gamers are looking at this particular interview right now and uh, i am addressing you guys that uh, maybe you are not aware that more than 75% games are made in hyderabad a city itself in entire world okay no matter what you are playing you are playing with uh, rockstar games or ea sports or whichever the company you are playing with activision or uh, even tencent but real main power or real real brain power relies in india in single city which is hyderabad's high tech city where much more amount of jobs regarding gaming is available so whoever are targeting the gaming zone targeting gaming development as well in hyderabad once again thank you sir for this meaningful information And information to maine de di but one more thing i have question to entire public whoever is listening right now you guys are convinced that uh, graphic card is required for higher computation then why we require microprocessor as i have convinced you look at over here these are multiple arithmetic logic unit in graphic card these are multiple set of control unit with memory and over here lesser amount of arithmetic logic unit lesser amount of control unit and lesser amount of memory then why to choose i7 over nvidia aapke computer mein microprocessor hai hi kyun sirf graphic card kyun nahi hai computation ke liye to dono cheeze hai this is the real question okay to all of you Uh, i hope i can get a real answer from you guys and uh, if you can't give the answer at least give the likes okay have a nice day